G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, this little squiggle of mine that I put in a little while ago seems to be playing out pretty well at the moment. Now, I didn't start it from here, so I'm not going to try and claim that I knew it was going to go exactly like this. I did start it sort of somewhere more around about back here. And I did suspect that I thought this would roll over and continue to sort of drop down for a little while. And that I thought we were going to get down to around about the $27,000, $28,000 level. And so far it seems to be playing out. So if my little squiggle is right, uh, we need to wait until around about the 8th of February for this to play out. Now look, this could stop uh, and you know make its next move up before or it could you know drop off uh, a whole lot further uh, before it sort of gets to here. But I just get the feeling like this is going to keep playing out this for a little while. I don't think there's enough down pressure in the market to really dump the price. Uh, I just don't think there's enough buying pressure at the moment to really pump up the price either. But what I do know is that there is stimulus packages that are currently, you know, getting worked on and getting ready to come out and that will inevitably push the price up. So ever, whenever these stimulus packages finally get pushed out, I think that's when we're going to see the next uh, rise uh, in things like Bitcoin and the stock market. Because from what I believe, the stock market has had a little bit of a pullback at the moment. Now... It is possible that we could come down to around about here, the $24,000 mark. I'm just not sure it's going to happen. And I've said this before, the, I think there's going to be too much support. A stimulus package will come out before that happens. And it'll push the market up higher. But we'll have to wait and see. It is possible. Uh, and look, it is possible it goes lower. I just, I know if I see Bitcoin, uh, again, I mean, I'm dollar cost averaging. But if Bitcoin actually drops to around $27,000, dollars uh, I will be putting most, you know, at least 50% of all the cash I have on hand into Bitcoin because I really don't see it going much lower. But if it does, I'm going to ha have cash left over. And if it gets down to $24,000, I'm going to put half of all the cash that I have uh, at that time into Bitcoin because I know at some stage it will turn around and start to make its next move up. It's just a healthy correction and I've spoke about this in previous videos. And I'll continue to because I just want to ensure that anyone who watches my videos understands how these market cycles work. And this isn't Bitcoin dying and going to zero. Uh, there's a lot of FUD out there with uh, people and we'll look into some of that. I think this is just Bitcoin uh, having a good retracement after, again, this was such a bullish move. And it even started way back here. So this was uh, some market manipulation, the Bart Simpson head and pattern. So we could really just kind of rule that off. It keeps going. But really... This was an okay kind of correction, about 17%. And then really after that, other than that, we haven't had any sort of real ones. Again, this one kind of uh, drained off for a while. And I just think what this is, uh, is this, but it's a little bit more elong elongated and will last a little bit longer. That's just my thoughts anyway. All right, let's get over to the market now. I need to refresh this. This is a little bit old. Uh, so 31,939 billion. 937 billion there we go we lost two billion dollars and as i said I, I think things will continue to go down but what's interesting is the btc dominance continues to drop and the ethereum aka um, altcoins the dominance continues to rise so there are gains being made at the moment and people are taking money at the moment so it doesn't look like too many gains are being made at the moment you know it's a bit of a mixed bag but what we can do is go over here 24 hours let's have a look Dogecoin going on an absolute tear. One inch done pretty well. Elrond done pretty well. Thorchain done pretty well. Terra Luna done pretty well. So we can see that there's definitely gains to be made here. Horizon, Aave Link, 0x, Chainlink. Things are moving up. It's just they're not moving up like they were. The whole enthusiasm has slowed down a little bit and now people are taking profits and they're putting money on the side because they think it's going to go lower and look at most likely will uh, not financial advice just my personal opinion but you know if they're waiting for like big drops thinking i'm waiting for bitcoin to go under twenty thousand before i get back in i just don't see that happening i think that is highly unlikely but look maybe those people know more than i do who knows i don't claim to know everything right so we can see there's been some gains what about losses because again the market cap's coming down so there has to have been some losses and we can see there is Nothing major though. This is only one loss in the top 100 at least, where in 24 hours it lost uh, double digits. 
but I mean it's still up 63% uh, for the week so that's not too bad and again it's something from outside the 100 that's pushed up into the uh, 100 uh, engine coin again it pumped over 100% so of course it's going to have a pullback this is nothing too bad synthetics network it's kind of trading sideways again I think uh, you know it'll have some more upside uh, but at the moment I just think a lot of things are going to start to sort of cool off for a while uh, until people I don't know decide they want to get back into the market or we get those stimulus packages coming which will likely push things up all right some really really interesting stories so GameStop so I've got more information about it now so what happened with GameStop is there's allegedly some hedge funds that got together and we're going to short uh, the GameStop uh, stocks uh, and basically send them bankrupt and you know make themselves a lot of money at the same time and there's a reddit group and they are called Wall Street bets and these are just you know average day kind of Joes uh, who you know like to talk about things that happen on the market they're not actually Wall Street guys but they got wind of this and they decided to go against it and so instead of shorting uh, Wall Street like the hedge funds were going to they actually longed it and invested in it and they pushed it from I think it was $18 up to some ridiculous price I forget what it was yesterday $140 $150 now rumor is at least one hedge fund hedge fund went broke because they tried so hard to short it to make money now I'm in two minds about this these big Wall Street guys and that's not Wall Street bets this is just people who came up with that name for uh, a reddit thing the hedge fund guys and that they are the Wall Street guys hedge funds and Wall Street guys have manipulated markets and ruined retail investors for many many years they have dumped on retail and yeah smashed them and you know yeah sent them broke on more occasions and are more known for market manipulation than anyone else but what has happened is Wall Street bets they have their own discord so we go over here and this is where it all started they got wind of it and so they decided we're gonna to get together and we're gonna do the opposite and we're gonna push this stock really high uh, we're gonna get all, and they're gonna long it and again make all the money uh, not send our uh, game stop broke uh, and ruin these uh, hedge funds and that uh, and now this discord group has been banned uh, and it's been banned because allegedly it was uh, putting up hateful and spiteful information not information saying hey let's go and uh, ruin these kind of Wall Street guys uh, so aka fraud and again these you know Wall Street guys and that not Wall Street bets they're not Wall Street guys that's just the name of the reddit group these hedge fund managers and Wall Street guys and that they have ruined retail investors again so many times it's not funny and you know bought stocks pumped them up and then dumped them and you know caught everyone out they're well known for doing it and now all of a sudden it's been basically put back on them and they've you know not liked uh, their own medicine they've cried foul and now this discord group has been banned and Joe Biden says we're going to investigate these social media groups to make sure that they're not manipulating the market why haven't we done that to the uh, big hedge fund managers and Wall Street guys before it's only because they've had their own medicine dished on them that they don't like it and all of a sudden you're having a look into it please that's absolutely ridiculous but again I am in two minds because there's gonna be some everyday you know mum and dads who've invested in pension funds or something like that who were invested in the hedge funds and maybe they then lost some money and that I don't like I don't like the idea of you know anyone going broke that's a horrible thing to happen to anyone so again that's why I'm in two minds Good that it was kind of stuck to some of those Wall Street guys who were going to, you know, basically uh, send GameStop uh, broke, bust, and into insolvency. And some people said, no, nah, we're going to get together and pump the stocks up and, you know, stick it to the, the big Wall Street guys. So, yeah, indifferent on how I feel. But anyway, moving on. All right. Australia's e safety commissioner touts blockchain as a solution to trolls. This I found very interesting. So Australia's eSafety Commissioner has suggested blockchain-based digital IDs as a potential solution to fight online abuse and trolling. This is a problem all over the world, but we did have at least one well-documented uh, story, and look, there, there's been other ones, but there was a well-documented one of a young lady in Australia who was mercil mercilessly trolled online. I think she was about 12 or 13 years old. 
uh, you know, Facebook, Twitter, I don't know what it was, but it was online, likely Facebook, uh, and she went and committed suicide and her parents found her. She'd hung herself. I couldn't imagine anything worse. As a parent, coming home and finding your child had taken their own life and then to find out that it was other children around her age that had been, you know, the cause of this. That is truly horrible uh, and I can't think of anything worse. But it seems blockchain may be able to help us. So I'll continue the read. Australia's eSafety Commissioner, Julie Inman Grant, has suggested a blockchain-powered ID solution could help tackle cyber abuse and trolling while allowing users to maintain a level of anonymity. And we do want a level of anonymity when we're on the net. We shouldn't have everyone knowing exactly who we are and what we're doing if we don't want it. But we can't have complete anonymity where, again, people can get online and maybe be the cause of, you know, some poor young child or even adults. It doesn't matter, child, adult, whatever. Someone taking their life because of online bullying. That is, yeah, we need to get on top of that. And blockchain may be able to help. So, again, I continue to read. Speaking to New South Wales media outlet, the Sydney Morning Herald grants, uh, sorry, let me start again. That didn't sound very right. Speaking to New South Wales media outlet, the Sydney Morning Herald. Grant said that while anonymity was beneficial for general online use, people hiding behind anonymity online to harm others remained a big problem in society. She said blockchain-powered digital IDs could help strike a balance by hiding users' details unless requested by law enforcement. Uh, Love it, love it, love it. I think we need to get on top of it. Now, there will be people who come out and say, oh, but then law enforcement will be able to abuse the power and all the rest of it. There's always going to be someone who can abuse the power, I just don't believe law enforcement actively go out to abuse these powers like on a regular basis. Uh, I don't believe they ever, again, willingly abuse these powers. But look, there has been stories of, you know, some law enforcement agencies that have done questionable things, but there's always someone who's done questionable things. I think in the grander scheme of things, law enforcement uh, forces, you know, they're out there trying to do their best uh, for the communities and, and the rest like that. Sometimes... You know, they may step over the line and do things that others don't agree with, but I don't know. I think the place would be a lot worse if we had no law enforcement. That's my personal opinion. Nothing's perfect, nothing ever will be. Uh, we do want law enforcement to be perfect, but again, I think thinking that they will be perfect is, you know, it's something they should try and achieve, but it's unlikely they'll ever get there. But if they could be oh so close, uh, then great. And again, getting back to the main theme of the story, yeah, we need to get rid of cyberbullying. That is a real problem. All right, gaming platform engine. And I don't even know how to say this. Metaverse Semi, I don't know how to say that. Merge NFTs with augmented reality to enhance gaming experience. Now, I think NFTs and that are going to be massive, and I've spoke about this. I won't personally be uh, buying any NFTs because I'm just i not artsy enough to know what's really going to be good and what's not. It would be more potluck uh, if I was to buy any NFTs. What I am investing in, though, is things where those NFTs might be used. Engine. I think Engine is a really good place to start. I'm bullish on Engine. Uh, I think it has, uh, you know, long-term use uh, and I definitely think there's going to be some short-term sort of gains uh, so I will be you know like any altcoin that I have I've got my position in engine I may add more to it and when the peak of the bull run, run comes I'll probably sell at least half and then I'll just hold on to the other half and you know at the bottom of the cycle next year or thereabouts because I won't pick it exactly rebuy in if I see engine is still doing good things and I do think NFTs and gaming is going to be massive I don't think it'll be the super big thing in this bull cycle I think DeFi is going to be what it's all about in this bull cycle and then once DeFi becomes kind of more the norm I think the next bull run cycle is when you know some of these young kids who are now growing up and starting to play all these games and then start to have money and get into NFTs uh, are a little bit older and possibly adults uh, that's I think the next bull run is where NFTs and that will have their really big moment. That's not to say I don't think good gains can't be made now. And again, you know, Engine may be at, I don't know what price it is, let's say it's 40 cents at the moment. In five years' time, Engine, who knows what that price could be. It could be a whole lot higher. Never financial advice, just my personal opinion. All right, last but not least, this story. Oh, God. This guy, this guy, <laughs> this guy really annoys me. 
So the BIS chief blasts Bitcoin's viability, prompting a blowback from advocates. So let's have a read of some of the things he says. He basically goes on to, you know, badmouth Bitcoin, saying that it won't last and it's got all these faults. So he says here, Carson Carsten's reserved particular bombast for what he framed as the inevitable systems failure hard-coded into Bitcoin's 21 million uh, issuance cap. This is just FUD, ladies and gentlemen. He knows what's coming. He's trying to keep the price down and they're going to be buying it. I can almost guarantee you they're buying it when they're saying this. They don't want Bitcoin's price to go sky high before they can get in and scoop up as much as they can. And they're also just trying to slow it down. They don't want the traditional current financial system to crumble. And he is the chief of all central banks. He's the bigwig and look at him. He looks like a bloody banker as well. Smug bugger. But anyway, this is what I found really interesting. So clearly, if digital money is to exist, the central bank must play a pivotal role, guaranteeing the stability, he says, and the value, he says, ensuring the elasticity of the aggregated supply of such money and overseeing the overall security of the system. You total tosspot. Digital money will be no different to the fiat money that we have and central banks will print it into oblivion and do all the same crooked stuff that they've been doing for so long. I think central, I think uh, digital money should be taken out of the hands uh, of central banks uh, and it should be divvied off to other private firms and then they simply have to use their own central banks, uh, you know, coins to work in with the rest. They should not be in control of all the money. This bloke is an absolute twit uh, and a tosspot uh, and we need to get rid of people like this. They are protecting their own old school walled garden system that they have. They don't want it to go away. They've made themselves extremely rich and they know how to manipulate the system. And again, we we're talking about it. Very similar to, you know, the Wall Street guys and that and the hedge fund managers. They've made themselves, uh, you know, a sweet little system where the rich, and that's what they are, just continue to get richer, and the poor have a real hard time of be, ever getting, uh, being able to ever get out of being poor. Completely decentralized markets gets rid of all this stuff, and we no longer need people like this. We have computer programs that make it fair for everybody, uh, and not you know personal opinions that uh, benefit themselves. Anyway, that's it for me. Markets are looking uh, a little bit sort of, you know, not shaky at the moment, but I do see more downside. I don't know how else to say it. I don't think it's going to full on crumble, but I definitely think we're going to go down some more. But look, there's some altcoin gains out there. All right. Love to know your thoughts down below uh, on this toss pot, as I called him. Do you think that our central banks should be in charge of money, considering the the way they've performed uh, basically ever since they sort of came into play and we got off the gold standard system. Uh, and we can't go back to the gold standard system. It just won't work. The reserve currency basket is the way of the future, but it's still going to be mainly based around fiat, which these guys are going to be in control of. Love to know whether you think digital currencies currencies in general should stay in central banks' hands or it needs to be uh, farmed off to private entities and things like that. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Good on you if you're on that gain train at the moment because it's pretty hard and I'll see you next time.